NASA recently conducted flight experiments at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California to examine the effect of low amplitude sonic booms on large office buildings. As part of the sonic booms on big structures effort, two NASA FA-18 aircraft from NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center flew a series of supersonic runs that caused multiple sonic booms of varying intensity over Edwards. This is actually a very important step in our process of understanding uh, community response to sonic boom. So what we set out to do today was concentrate on booms that we know are within the realm of capability of our design tools to develop civil aircraft that can produce those booms. We brought in some people who have experience with hearing sonic booms or some expertise in supersonics in the past, and we just asked them to experience a number of booms, a very low overpressure, a very low loudness boom, uh, to a moderate loudness boom. We had instruments outside that recorded the data so that we can correlate that with other tests that we have done with outdoor booms and booms in smaller structures. We were just interested in getting the, the perception of the folks uh, listening to the booms. So we're simulating what we anticipate will be the boom level of a new aircraft by using an existing F-18 airplane. To do that, we have to dive the airplane in a unique manner, and that creates both a quiet boom at the location where we want to measure, but also some loud booms in the vicinity. We're working on the technology that will enable a next generation of supersonic aircraft that the public can fly on. But we don't want to do that in a way that creates a disturbance. The technology that we're developing will result in quiet supersonic aircraft. NASA engineers are now reviewing data from sensitive instrumentation installed in a recently constructed office building at Edwards to determine the building's structural response to the momentary overpressure of the sonic shock waves.